Uh, there seems to be an agenda to wipe out, to uh, uh, eliminate the pursuit of education. We think there is an agenda by certain forces. Some of them are in government. Some of these people supporting Boko Haram and supporting all these, uh, what they call bandits. They are all terrorists, they are not bandits. We don't have bandits in Nigeria, we are terrorists. Most of these terrorists are working for some people in government. Unfortunately, some of them, when they speak, some of them even work in the presidency. When they speak, they speak for an interest that protects the terrorists. Because it's, Nigeria is the only country in the whole wide world where students will be taken away into the forest and they will be left to stay there for one month. Some students were taken away from their schools, Bethel. The one in, I think Bethel is a Baptist school in Kaduna. They were taken away. They spent two months. They were not released, not until the parents started paying money. Government didn't do anything about it. NDA was invaded. When we were young, some of us had ambition. In fact, from primary school, soldiers used to come to us. They used to come to our school. I went to school in Kamanchan. So soldiers used to come to our primary school that time. When you reach class six, they would come to advertise in the general army whether interested in going to their own secondary school or whatever. You understand? Some of us started liking the uh, soldier walk. In fact, myself, I did NDA, NDA exam. That's to tell you how, how, how uh, ambitious to join the army. But I didn't join the army because I want to learn what is going on now. So, uh, NDA was invaded and a serving officer was taken away. They said they rescued him. After how many days? It's a shame. So, but we're not even concerned about our, we're concerned about our children. Some of us that are parents, even here in Abuja, when your child goes to school, I don't eat. I don't eat because I don't have uh, the capacity to provide, if I have the capacity to provide uh, security, armed security for my child going to school, I will do that. I will do that because I don't, trust, I don't trust that things are going well in the country. My child goes to school and I will not eat. I will be tensed up. I will be interacting with the mother. Please, is he okay? Even here in Abuja. So we said, what is, uh, what is going on? Nigeria doesn't seem to have a national assembly. The national assembly is dead since the 2019 election. The current national assembly is dead because the Senate president and the speaker are bootlickers of the president. They have sold the national assembly independence to the executive arm of government. The executive arm of government has collapsed, uh, has taken away the national assembly's power they are operating as one. Unfortunately for us, even the judiciary has been captured because the man who is the chief justice of Nigeria was railroaded into office by an espate injunction given by somebody appointed by the secretary to the government of the federation, not even a judiciary, uh, not even a judge. You understand? So the judiciary has been captured. The executive arm has captured judiciary, captured the National Assembly. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because if you have these two arms of government doing what the Constitution says, checks and balances. Section 4, Section 5, Section 6. Section 4 is for the National Assembly. Section 5 is for executive arm of government. Section 6 is for the judiciary. So if you have these three arms of government performing their distinctive roles, you cannot have students taken away by those the government insists to call bandits. And they have succeeded in getting the media to tell lies to the world that they are bandits. They are not bandits. Bandits are ordinary pickpockets. Bandits are like this pickpocket that when you have your money, you're traveling to Lagos. Uh, my pocket has been picked several times. When you're going to Lagos, you're transport money, they will steal it from your pocket. These are the ones you call bandits. These ones going to schools to carry to uh, with the kind of weapons that some soldiers that have been soldiers in the last 30 years have not even seen. There are kind of weapons they carry that some who are soldiers, they, they will not say it, they will not talk. But I am close to soldiers. Some of them have not seen the kind of weapons that these boys are carrying. They will go to school and kidnap students and take them to the forest and you have a country and the son of the president wedded when students are in the forest with terrorists. Unfortunately, there's nobody to control the president, nobody to tell the president you have committed a constitutional uh, uh, aberration by not doing what section 14.2b says. 
such so to be says the response, primary responsibility of government, the primary duty. When they want to lie to us, they tell us chapter two is not enforceable. So what, why, why was it put in the constitution? The primary duty of government section 14 to be. You don't have to be a lawyer. Learn your constitution, go and get constitution and read it. Our constitution is the simplest constitution you can have anywhere in the world, written in very simple English, apparently because were, it was written by the military. The military appointed people that wrote it. So they wrote it in a very deliberately simple language. Everybody will understand it. And it's not difficult, difficult to, some of us who can cram when we're in school, you can cram all the uh, sections. So human rights, you want to know about it? Read the Nigerian constitution, you know about human rights. Section 42 says the primary duty of government is to, pro to, to protect life and property. Let me tell you, if God makes it possible for me to be a president and the kind of things that are happening in the north, or in the south, I will come to the southeast, because that happened in the north, particularly, because that's, that's, our, that's where we're going. School children have been kidnapped. I will resign from office because I have failed in my primary duty to protect children. You have not done anything. You didn't fire the, the man in charge of customs. You didn't fire the man in charge of immigration. Because these are areas where these arms coming from, from the Portland borders. You said you shot the borders. Which border did you, did you close down? The border in Lagos. What about the border in Kasana? That even a House of Rep member raised, raised an alarm in the House of Representatives. Just Google your phone, you will see it on the phone. He was open. Even the NTA that that is, I don't know how to describe them. NTA that is like a houseboy of the president. Carry the story because the man appeared. It was live program. He appeared. He said, he said, Mr. President shot the borders, but smugglers are bringing in rice through Kasana through his own constituency. And incidentally, the man is the one representing our president. You didn't take any action to ensure border security. Some years back, we said, we said Nigeria should think of erecting a uh, fence. People laughed at us, uh, people laughed at us, ah, it's not possible, it's possible. When I was a member of the Presidential Committee on Restoration of Peace and uh, Dialogue, this uh, what you people were calling Boko Haram Committee. They didn't, when she was signing, uh, either resigned or didn't accept the appointment, I was the one that stepped in. Though, though that committee was very silent because of security reasons. Nobody knows who are the committee members. We suggested, I suggested that they should build fence across the country. That hotel had enough cement to build uh, 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 fence across Nigeria. Israel did it. Trump wanted to do it. The Democrats opposed him. What is happening now in the US? Don't you see people jumping into the US? People that come, they just throw their baby. The Americans are lucky that Nigeria is not Mexico. I'm sure all of us would have jumped through the fence and jumped into America. If Nigeria was close to America. Like how Haiti is doing. Haiti, Haitians are now sweeping to jump into the US. Trump wanted to stop it by building fence. They opposed him. He used his executive powers and see whether he had to be the fair, but he couldn't finish it because he was, he said, I didn't believe, I don't believe because they say it's fake news, but as somebody who supports Trump, somebody who believes in Trump, I, as a person, not who you are, I know that Trump was saying the right thing that if you build a fence, it will minimize illegal uh, migration. But in Nigeria's own case, we're not talking about migration. If you have people coming to Nigeria, we are very hospitable, we're Africans. The kind of people they should stop in from coming it's not even the person that is even, uh, uh, well, because of the economy. Because if you allow somebody to bring in rice, the person will destroy our local economy. So they are as dangerous as people, as people bringing in arms. But the worst is somebody who is bringing in arms and they invade the forest. What is happening in Nigeria in the north and they are spreading to other parts of the country is not only a threat to national security, but it's a threat to even the ecosystem. The forest has been taken over. The world spent billions of dollars to preserve the forest. They spent billions of dollars. They, uh, uh, um, uh, if you go to, there's a place in Brazil, the, the world spent billions just to make sure that that place is preserved. But in our own case, even the president is saying you must allow uh, foreign investment to take over the forest. So what is happening now is not just about uh, insecurity, but it's also, it's also a problem, an environmental issue. So. As a body, we are calling on government. Somebody went to the press and said Huriwa does not like 
the president. We don't have any reason to like the president. He is not a woman. Uh, I'm a man. Uh, he's, not, he's not a babe. So I have no reason to like him. But I have every reason to respect his office. Because he is the president, not of Fulani people, he is the president of the whole of Nigeria. Because uh, one constitutional lawyer, unfortunately, fortunately for us, we have a very, a very uh, patriotic constitutional lawyer with us, the chairman. A constitutional lawyer, I forgot that his name is from Ondo State. He wanted to be a governor. He was with Obasanjo, Dr. He's our friend. He wrote a small book on the Nigerian constitution. I read it from there. He said, the Nigerian president is not the only, is not the president because of the positive votes. He's also a president because of the negative votes. Those who didn't vote for Mr. President have voted for him negatively. Those who voted for him positively have voted for him positively. So Mr. President is a president of all Nigeria. He's not a president of, is it 95%? And some of us who are in 5%. No, he's the president of both 5% and 5%. So, the, Mr. President, we respect his office, we honor his office, we respect the sanctity uh, and the disability of the Nigerian Federation. Nigeria is one, Nigeria must remain one. We support that. But there has to be dialogue. The government has to act to deal decisively with the terrorists. Yes. For the terrorists that are kidnapping students, and the government must stop the policy of reintegrating terrorists. Terrorists should be reintegrated with the devil. They should be sh shot and sent to where they belong. Hell fire. After, you, don't, you don't reintegrate a terrorist who will go to school and kidnap uh, children, go to uh, Chibok, go to, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, uh, Yobe State, and kidnap children and keep them in the forest for years. Some of them are married off. They rape women, they rape wives, and you are telling you will reintegrate. Such a man, we support, we support the severest military action. We support what the government of Canada State is saying. They should be wiped out completely. That is our support. Mr. President must stop uh, uh, what is happening in the North. Education is collapsing. People are no longer, are no longer uh, uh, free to go to school. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.